Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where today we return with more low fuel motorsport. This time around we are heading to Japan and I believe we're in the H2 front wheel drive cars. Yes, we finished 139th in the world um, in the first event of the season. To be honest, I, I'm not too disappointed uh, with that one and apparently I can't even scroll down uh, and look at where I finished. But yeah, heading back to Rally Japan today, it seems to either be Japan or Central Europe um, that I do on the channel at the moment. We've got another six stage event, um, but yeah, this time round, of course, in these slower cars. So how we're going to get on today is anybody's guess. Three cars I've never driven before. We've got the 309 GTI, the 205 GTI, or the Golf GTI. And I think, to be honest, out of the three of them, I'm going to go with the Golf this time round. I'm going to change my mind immediately. I'm going to go with the Peugeot, uh, I think, because, the, you know, the 205 is absolutely iconic. I just want to say, as always, a massive thank you um, to everyone for the continued support on the channel. If you're new around here and you aren't already, please do make sure you get yourself subscribed. We've got plenty of plans ready for 2024 that I don't think you guys are going to want to miss. But yeah, let's head here then to Forum 8 Rally Japan. Well, it looks like we're in there for a very, very wet start to this rally. We've got two sets of rain tyres um, that we should not therefore need to use after the opening couple of stages. So we'll dive in with a quick shakedown first of all. Good luck. This thing revs up then to about 7,000. Um, but yeah, the 205 GTI, a really, really iconic car. Um, but how is it going to fare on these slippery Japanese switchback mountains? How am I going to fare through these Japanese slippery switchback mountains? I think that's probably the bigger question. Um, but yeah, obviously the first, I, think, I believe, yeah, the first LFM video we did um, was actually in Japan as well. So we've done Japan twice and Central Europe once. Um, but I am hoping to try and do this entire season, whatever season number um, it kind of is. Of course, trying to time it. Uh, around the holidays so yeah we'll, we'll wait and see as to how that goes as well but yeah like i said you know i just want to thank everyone for the support on this channel you know really you know started doing it later on this year as a bit of a fun passion project you know before eawrc and well this game i've absolutely loved playing on so hence why there's been you know, so much content from this game in recent weeks but yeah this thing handles pretty well through the dampness It did handle pretty well through the dampness before I threw it, put it through the end of a guardrail. Will that be us out of the rally? I, I do hope not. Let's have a look. Vehicle setup, repairs. Oh, dearie me. Don't say I've completely destroyed this thing before we even get into it. I, I believe we might have done. So I've taken a minute and a half penalty before we've even gone. <laughs> oh, no. This has been a disaster. Uh, what a way to start this event then here in Japan, but I, I know now I've got to avoid that at the start of this stage. So we might be on the back foot going into this entire rally, um, but yeah, we'll wait and see as to what we can do. Six stages, so probably going to take us the better part of an hour, um, but hopefully we can have some fun along the way. If I beat anyone now in this event, I'll be absolutely staggered. I don't know if the penalty. Ooh, I don't know if the penalty are going to apply to this first stage or not. Because uh, yeah, that that was not sensible. The only I did manage to get everything fixed though, apart from I think we had light damage on the steering. So hopefully um, that's not going to be too bad. Um, it would have been quite awkward if I'd done the intro to this video and then not even survived the shakedown um, to do the rest of it. But yeah, that was not not my finest moment. I think it's safe to say uh, in EA WRC. Let's just try and focus up then on this first stage. Um, yeah, quite a short one all in all, so fingers crossed. If I, if I can avoid that guardrail again, fingers crossed we could... Ooh. No! Oh, no! I, I'll take that reset penalty. I, I made that mistake the last time we did this event, didn't I? I completely misjudged where the corner was there. Luckily, that time I didn't hit anything. Um, so we did, I managed to glide it through the trees as I almost hit that armco again. Um, it, this, this has not been my finest start. This is the last video I'm recording before I take a few days off. 
not 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 ideal. Not not yeah, really really not the best way to kick that all off. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just try and stay out of trouble. He says after he's already binned it twice, and we've barely made it through the first split of the rally. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, first time I've driven any front wheel drive on this game. So yeah, unless we've done like a random one-off event somewhere at some point. Because all we've really done is... Because I always forgot the Junior WRC car is in fact all-wheel drive. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a different experience in the 205 GTI. I think the front-wheel drives that will suit my style on this game. So hopefully that will come in clutch for us over the course of this event. I mean, based on everything that's happened so far though. Not, not going to hold my breath that we're, that we're even going to see the chequered flag uh, in this one, but it is what it is. Uh, don't start hitting things, please. So I've got to be careful if we end up on that stage with the horrible six titans into one. Because that corner is really stupid. I think that might be my least favourite corner on this game. Which is a shame, because I do quite like a lot of Rally Japan. I feel like if, if Hobu Dam shows up on this one, we should definitely know where we're going. Oh, ow. Uh, no idea what the best uh, front-wheel drive car though is in the H2 class. Pick this thing, it was kind of the middle of the power uh, and the middle of the weight. Can't help but feel that the 306 was very underpowered. Um, but you never know, if someone likes a challenge, they'll, they'll probably still beat me based on how I've, how I've ran so far. You just need to focus up. Oh, oh, oh. oh. We nicked the end of the arm code then, and it pinged me back the right way. Yeah, I think that's the thing, of course, got to be very, very careful of, especially in these older cars. Just how bad the brakes are. They, they basically just don't stop, is, is what I've learned. Intrigued to see how this thing is, though when it stops raining, which it should do by stage number three. Oh, you just feel the front scrubbing. Anyway, oh, no. Damn it. Oh, no, I'm going to fall down here, aren't I? Yeah, reset me. No, it's terminal. That that hasn't gone well. That that uh, that is definitely the worst rally I think I've ever done on this game. It was a lot earlier than I was I was planning on calling that one. But thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure you leave a like, get yourself subscribed, um, and we'll be back very soon for round three of LFM. I am such a moron. A massive thank you to all of my YouTube members and my Patreon supporters for their continued donations to help my work. These things go much further than I think a lot of you ever realise and allow me to continue making content full-time here on YouTube. So if you want to support me from as little as £1 a month and be featured on all of these end clips, either click the join button next to the subscribe or head over to my Patreon. There's a link down in the description.